Hello everybody, welcome to Dragon Charts. In today's video stock analysis, we're looking at a stock that trades on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. It's called The Link. It's a REIT, Real Estate Investment Trust. Uh, number 823 is the ticker number uh, on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Uh, this particular chart is interesting for several reasons. It's a uh, good educational purposes to show here. Uh, first of all, we've got, as always, we've got our 20-day moving average, this blue line. This green line is our 50-day moving average, and the orange line is our 200-day moving average. What we see here recently is that the stock has broken out above what's called a horizontal band of consolidation. You see I draw a horizontal line here, and this is called resistance. Notice how at this level here, and at this level, and at this level, every time the stock tried to go higher, it was unable to move higher, and that's because this is called resistance. Now, when, the, when a stock moves above resistance eventually, uh, that's a, po a positive sign that the stock usually is going to go higher. And you notice uh, last week, the stock actually moved above this horizontal line, and now it's trading up in this area. Uh, it closed today just near the 2650 level. So the stock has broken out above horizontal resistance. Uh, there's also resistance of the prior high. This is called the 52-week high right here and the stock is also trading above that level so the stock uh, basically went sideways here from November of 2010 until through the end of May of 2011 and uh, notice how the price action just traded in a sideways range uh, not really moving up not really moving down uh, but now it's moved up higher and this is very positive because if the stock pulls back uh, and retraces down to uh, one of these levels, this horizontal line or this horizontal line, the stock is likely to find support, meaning that it's not likely to go lower uh, if the breakout holds. Now, in this case, uh, the stock is trading at what, at what is called a new 52-week high. Now, when I was a new trader, I was afraid to buy stocks that were at 52-week highs because I was always under the impression I was supposed to buy a stock that's trading at a low price and sell it at a high price. But the reality is that stocks trading at 52-week highs are the best stocks to buy because they typically are the stocks that continue much higher. If you look at this as an example of what I'm talking about, look back here, back in, this would have been July of 2010, uh, notice how this level, this price right here would have been a 52-week high at the time. And when the stock eventually moved above that level right here on this day, look what happened. It set in motion an uptrend that lasted for three months and then the stock started to go sideways so what we're likely to see happen here is because we've had this long base of consolidation the stock is very likely could repeat its prior price action where it builds an uptrend for the next several months and moves higher so what this means is that the stock is now at a reasonable level to consider buying it uh, because it does have uh, the technical signs to indicate it's likely to make another leg higher now, of course, uh, we also have the moving averages that are starting to widen apart. Notice how back here when the price was moving sideways, these 20 and 50 day moving average kept crossing over each other. But when the stock goes into an uptrend, notice how these lines widen apart. And that's what we're starting to see now as well. So our indicators are looking good. Down here, we have big volume. Uh, these are volume bars. Each bar represents one day of price, price action and volume action. So this indicates that the stock is also seeing a lot of buying interest by institutions, such as mutual funds and hedge funds. So this is a good sign as well. So uh, we like this stock for potential buy entry anywhere near its current price, above either of these horizontal lines. But we always want to use a protective stop loss in case the market does move lower and the stock's breakout fails. We want to limit our loss at all times. So in this case, a reasonable stop loss is to place one just below the $25 level because that means that the stock has come back down below this horizontal line and that would put the stock below the 20 day moving average and that would be a pretty good indication of a failed breakout so that that would be the point at which to cut the loss if the trade does not proceed to the upside but it looks pretty good so far so thanks for joining us in today's stock analysis session be sure to watch all of our stock chart videos and analysis videos on our dragon charts channel and we look forward to seeing you at our next live webinar